All right, everybody, I'm back from Star Wars Celebration in Anaheim, and I bought a couple things. So I'm going to go through them real quick, and kind of tell you what I paid, and tell you what I thought about the vendor floor. So first up, I got the uh, exclusive Celebration Guide, I guess you would call it. One of the cool things in here is it was actually the first look at the new Stormtroopers in here. But now we've seen them with the trailer and everything. Up oh, there it was. So pretty cool to have. We we'll through that later. A couple of the things in here I didn't get from Celebration. They just came in the mail this week, so they'll get bundled in here. Uh, I got Kanan number one. I did pick up Star Wars one, Vader one, Leia one. <laughs> they got mixed up in my friend's bag, so I'll get them when I see him again. I got Luke one. I paid uh, face value for Kanan and Luke. And then some Walking Dead, and a lot of you guys like Walking Dead, and that's why you're on my channel. I got. Uh, 38, 39, or 138, 139, 140. I don't remember if I showed those last time, but they haven't been put in my collection. 64, 65. Waiting in line for a long time to get a Jedi Temple Archives patch and poster. Got a couple of animations here. Jesse, Fozzie. I honest, I ordered so much stuff and bought so much stuff over the last weekend. I don't remember everything I got. I think this is uh, Army Man. Yep, Army Man. From Toy Story, and I bought these came out when we were in Disneyland or Anaheim. Red Hulk and She Hulk got two of those. They are numbered to or limited to 1500. And then, kind of a cool thing next year's coming out is uh, Fury and Coulson. I want those two, that's why I got two. So maybe I can trade for when that one comes out because I won't be down there. I got the Lego Ultimate Collection Slave One. Bought that at the Lego store in downtown Disney. They did have a Lego store and a Lego exclusive set, but I just didn't have time with Celebration. Uh, you kind of have to pick and choose what you're going to try to get, so I didn't even try to get the uh, exclusive mini uh, set that they had, which was like the Lars Homestead. It's pretty cool. It was only 40 bucks, and then I well this was 200, but the other set was 40. I picked up just because little Imperial Troop Transport. Figured four stormtroopers would go nicely with my slave one. And then I did, I kind of went in there with just looking for deals. And I ended up finishing two Power of the Force 2 era sets. And I did a lot of damage on some other ones. So I actually got Sio Bibble. And for $15. And the pictures I think I paid five for. And now I have every episode one regular figure. They're done. Um, I got this random animated holiday fet paid 20 bucks for him not too bad uh, all i need is a gentle giant holiday fet and i'll have every holiday fet ever all three things a vinylmation that one and a gentle giant statue got a couple of freeze frames five bucks for a snow trooper is a really good price i got a sand trooper power of the jedi for six bucks pretty good price I don't remember what I paid for the ATSD driver on freeze frame card. I think it wasn't more than 10 bucks. I can tell you that. All right, then I finished my red cards for Power of the Force 2 with a creased. It's not that bad. Um, it might even happen in my bag. Oops, creased uh, Tuscan Raider. A pretty mint R5D4. And then this seller was cool because they had these in. Uh, those are both $4. Power of the Jedi, or Power of the Force 2. Luke Stormtrooper and Sand Trooper, which means that is also now a completed set. I don't know if I already said that or not, but if I don't, now you know. And then this is where I spent probably the most money at, but I got some really good deals. Six inch Black Series Slave Leia, I paid 12 bucks for. So anytime you can get those from under retail is good. Same with Greedo, 12 bucks. Got those on day one. Stormtrooper, I think I paid 24, which would be retail, which is fine. Finally got Boba Fett. I've had holiday Boba Fett forever. And I have regular Boba Fett. I think I paid 30 for him. Brian's Toys was blowing out these uh, six inch Obi-Wans for 10 bucks on the last day. So I couldn't pass that up. Luke Jedi, I got for retail, 20 bucks. And last but not least, Got the uh, clone sergeant back there. He was 20 bucks. So I only paid over retail for I think Boba Fett 
and Stormtrooper. They paid 35 and 25 for those. So not too bad, but did a pretty big dent in my needs. And I know next time, for next celebration, I'm bringing way more money. It was a lot of fun. If you guys want me to do a video talking about how to plan for one of those, the next one's in London, so I don't think I'm going to that one, but never say never. But that is it. Thanks for watching.